Sports line continues here on News Channel 5 Plus. John Burton, happy to have you here with us. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's the uh, product of the cold weather, folks. We're all going through it. Uh, Titans and Chiefs, AFC wildcard game Saturday in KC. And we talked about it earlier in the show uh, with Jim Wyatt and with you. Uh, an opportunity for the Titans to really get their running game going. The Chiefs have one of the worst run defenses in the National Football League. And an opportunity for the offensive line and running backs like Derrick Henry to really get things going. Again, no DeMarco Murray at practice today. We'll see if he can do uh, something tomorrow and be at least partially available for Saturday. If not, that means the Titans running game are going to be in the hands and feet of the former Alabama star, Derrick Henry. I could play a lot better. You know, um, I wasn't really happy how I played, but we got the W. That was, a, uh, that was the main goal when we got in. So, you know, just focus on getting better this week and being better than last week. What can you do better? Um, you know, uh, block and run, run harder. Um, um, not create negative plays. Um, be very detailed in the little things. And, you know, and that's what I've been working on this week, just trying to be better in, in every aspect that I can be. Is that mainly like the short yard stuff or just cross? Just everything, just trying to work on everything, you know, just to help us, you know, in this game, away in a good environment, it's a great team, you know, making sure that um, I'm playing my full ability and just executing every play that's called. When you get the ball third and one, third and two, do you, do, do you feel like that should be automatic? Yeah, I feel like it should be automatic. I got confidence in myself to uh, get that first down. And, you know, and it takes uh, uh, us as a whole to um, execute the play just so we can get it. If Marcus can show that mobility, how much can that open that interior zone read for you? Um, you know, he did a great job last game. You know, I'm sure they, they see it on film. So it should uh, open up a, a pretty good bit just so he's been so effective whenever he pulls the ball and gets uh, yardage. How evident has it been to you the last few weeks the teams were not expecting him to run with the football? Um, you know, that's just him uh, doing a great job when he has the ball in his hands and um, falling for it and getting yardage and everybody executing their job as well. Marcus said he learned a stiff arm from you. What did you kind of think when you saw him? That was just a great job. Um, great job, a great run. And just being aggressive, going for that first down and getting those extra yards. Great job by him. Some pretty good attitude behind that stiff arm, too. Yeah, hey, I seen him get up and look at the crowd. I thought, like, okay. <laughs> see the Heisman pose, though? I don't know. I didn't see that. Yeah. Stiff arm in the arm. What about walking up on the guy? Did you see that one? Yeah, I seen that, too. We all were laughing about it when we had seen the highlight in the uh, meeting today. What about the Chiefs on defense? What, what kind of stands out when you watch them? Uh, very fast. You know, they got a very fast defense. Guys that can flow very well, um, a good, a good back end, and um, you know, as long as we just execute what we need to do, I feel like we can uh, put up a good game. Just go out there and start fast and finish strong. You played in some big games before, obviously in college, but the first playoff game, you anxious yourself to see what the up and intensity is like. Um, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be an exciting environment. We played that last year, you know, that was in the regular season, but this is the playoffs, so it should be a full crowd, a lot of noise. You know, you gotta love this playoff yeah, football. Yeah, They're similar you to yourself in pass pro and pass, and pass receiving now versus last year. I'm um, just continuing to get better. I mean, I work on that every day in practice and um, I'm go out there and try to do my best this week. How is the new defense? Uh, of course, a lot of turnovers, mm -hmm. too. I know it's important every week, but how paramount is it this week to hang on to the ball, you know, as an offense, as, as a whole? Man. Every week is important to hang on to the ball, you know. Things that, that happened last week, and me and Marcus that exchange that was on me. Can't have critical mistakes, and uh, it's a team like that, you know. And like you said, they create turnovers and they get turned over. So that makes sure that uh, we're doing what we're supposed to do and go out there and execute the plays that they're called. What did you learn from last year's game in Kansas City that you can use this time around? Um, you know, just uh, just watch that film and then see the good things that we did and uh, eliminate the bad things and just go out there and uh, play a 60-minute game in Titans football and try to go get a win. How do you feel to kind of get back to being a workforce back? You know, 30 touches and things like that. And you, know, you don't have to play a You know, I didn't feel like a work, workhorse back. Kind of felt soft. So not really happy about that game at all. You know, it hasn't left my mind since the clock hit 0, zero, zero. So, you know, um, I'm uh, been working hard this week, trying to get better than I was last week. and. Looking forward to this game on Saturday. What do you mean you felt soft? I just feel like I didn't run like myself. I, I wasn't really happy. You know, oh, you I can say other words. <laughs> I, I can talk about myself, but you know, um, gotta play better. Every week's another opportunity. Does this ramp up even more? I guess. Yes, I'm. Today? I'm very excited and uh, play our football on um, my second year playing against a great team in a good environment. So you know, I'm ready to go. I mean, you get back. 
All right, Derek Henry, Titans running back, figures to get the bulk of the carries this week as the Titans, as we said, take on the Chiefs in the AFC wildcard game Saturday afternoon at Arrowhead Stadium. So Derek Henry can have himself a good game. That Titans uh, defensive line, or offensive line, excuse me, can uh, control the line of scrimmage. Titans, I think, have a decent shot of getting out of there with an upset win. Let's hear from Anthony on line one. Anthony, welcome to the show. Happy New Year. Hi, how you doing? Good. What's what's on your mind tonight? Oh, hey, I I I, I live in Houston, Texas now. Okay. Okay. Hey, the Titans always been my team ever since they was the Houston Oilers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I heard he asked a question about which uh, which team gonna show up for the uh, Kansas City. Right. I'm trying to figure which team gonna show up for the Titans. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. You know. Cause uh, I seen the game Sunday, and uh, if that if that line would open up open up a hole for Henry, he can go. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know what, Anthony, you're right. But uh, Henry's got to be able to learn that this is the NFL, and sometimes if all you can get me is two or three yards, get me two or three yards. Second and seven is better than second and twelve. I think too many times Derek Henry he doesn't see what he likes, and he quickly tries to bounce it outside. Uh -huh. um, you know, the NFL, NFL defensive players, as we know, are very, very quick. You know, you're not playing Mercer anymore. This is, this is the NFL. He's a big, yeah. strong guy. Put your pads down. Get me my two, three yards, and we'll, you know, we'll live for second and seven. Yeah, because uh, I got a buddy. He a Texan fan, and he always messing me talking about which team going to show up. Yeah. I hope the winning team show up uh, Saturday. No question about it. Thanks for the call, and we appreciate it. We got a... We got uh, Stacy on line two. Thank you, Taylor. Stacy, welcome to the show. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. What's on your mind? Um, I wanted to call in um, and agree with that young man, that impressive young man that called in earlier. Um, yeah, wasn't he great? What a, what a great way to start off 2018 with a great call from from uh, from our friend there. What that was great. Yeah, absolutely. Christian, I think his name was. Christian, yes, sir, and I agree 100%. Malarkey's the best coach we've had in years. Um, look at the record two years prior to him coming in. Look mm -hmm. at our record now um, and what he's done. I mean, we got a bunch of rookies on this team, um, talented rookies, but rookies nonetheless, and, um, you know, a lot of young players, second, third-year players, and, I mean, we've made it to the playoffs. I don't understand the bad rap um, that he's getting, and, I mean, the future is ours. I, I'm I'm looking forward to the way this season is going to end. Hopefully, with a Super Bowl win, um, but also looking forward to next year. And I think Malarkey is going to be an important piece of that. Stacy, I agree with you, and thank you for the call. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, you you're absolutely right. Stacy hit the nail right on the head. And that there's a lot of good group of se uh, first and second year players on this roster that are only going to grow and get better, and some good young veterans, guys like Avery Williamson, um, you know, guys like that. You know, you have young guys like Adoree Jackson, rookies, um, Jayon Brown, uh, and then second year guys like Kevin Byard, who tied for the NFL lead in interceptions this year. Um, so the future is bright, and I do believe, you know, Malarkey's got to make some changes on offense. Got to have a healthy offseason for Marcus Mariota start to finish. I think that's going to help things, too. You know, all those 14-2 and two predictions and those huge predictions for the team this year, probably a little bit too lofty. The Titans are about where they need to be. They've learned how to win, and now they're in the playoffs. Let's see what they do on Saturday. We'll come back and wrap things up right here on News Channel 5 Plus. Stay with us.